New at six, a baseball bat and a threat to call 13 Action News was enough to get some squatters out of a home near Desert Inn and Maryland Parkway. One man in that neighborhood fed up with the situation, went rogue and tried to solve the problem himself. 13 Action News reporter Tom George is live with more on this squatter vigilante. Tom. Well, guys, neighbors say they've been fed up with squatters inside that house. They say they had tried everything. They tried knocking on the doors and the squatters would just leave and come back. So one neighbor took matters into his own hands. He grabbed a bat, went over the house and scared them off. And now finally today, crews from the county are here to make sure the squatters don't come back. It's a street neighbors say is a hidden gem. We've been living here for almost two years now and um, it's a really nice neighborhood. We never have any problems. It's quiet. An up and coming area steeped in music history. It's why close knit neighbors couldn't believe this house once owned by 60 singer Mel Carter recently became home to squatters. So, you know, you pay $2,000 in the mental interior. It's kind of weird that they just found a house that was empty and just decided to, okay, it's mine now. I don't have to pay for it. Neighbors say the previous owner lost his home in November. Records show a Dallas bank took over last month. Since then, they've seen as many as five different people living there. Until now, that is, one neighbor making a gutsy move, going after them with a baseball bat. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I mean, um, he's a savage for that, for actually trying to, like, you know, be violent about the, the situation. But I hope no one got hurt. <laughs> No one was hurt, but the squatters did get the message, and so did the county. They were out today shutting off power and boarding it up, clearing everything out. Well, that was pretty quick. That was pretty awesome. I didn't see it, but I could have. I wish I could have. They're just glad their neighborhood vigilante stepped in. Good for him. <laughs> to keep their friendly community safe. I mean, they could have tried breaking into another home and try to, like, get stuff from their house and put it in the house. Now we talked to the man with the bat. He didn't want to go on camera, but he his, he did say he hopes that this won't encourage other people to do the same thing because obviously it can be pretty dangerous if you go up with a bat because you don't know what you're up against. But he says in this case, he did what he felt he had to do because it got the result that they wanted. Reporting live, Tom George, 13 Action News.